All right, I got a special treat for you guys today. Jeff Miyoki. Hey y'all. Hey y'all, I built something really cool for the Aqua Shell at Daytona Convention. Check this out. It's a tree house in an aquarium. So, I collected the materials that you see here in California this last July. We have this, this all came off the Sierra Nevada mountains where I went and collected with Tom Barr and I used those materials to create this crazy tree here. This standing about seven feet tall. The building that you're seeing here is 3D printed and then I hand painted the building as well as all the mini characters here. These pumpkins and leaves that you see, these are all organic materials. This is a dried fruit off a tree in Australia. Look a little pumpkin. These little leaves here I punched out from real maple leaves. So I thought that was a nice little touch. I tried to mix nature and man here together and create this crazy uh, enchanting world. I titled this Treehouse for the Enchanted Arts because we have the treehouse obviously with the, the window as the epic center of it. And then you have all of these little vignettes showing artists. So we have painters that are painting paintings. And I've actually painted the paintings myself here. So I did two of them. Little easels and chairs for them to relax. And then if you look over here, we have the musicians. This guy is playing, I don't know, what is that, a lute? <laughs> a guitar, it's not a guitar. Flute. This one, she has pink hair. My wife is running around here with pink hair, so that was inspired by my wife. And then we have the windmill caretaker with his blowing cloak as he looks out over the ocean. And then over here we have the lookout, keeping an eye on all the dangerous fish in the tank. So if you go below, you'll see the underwater portion of this world. The first thing you'll notice is these runes, and they spell out O-A-S-E, Oase. So that's our brand. And what I want to do, instead of just replicating those letters exactly, I want to put an artistic flair on them so you can see that they're still reminiscent of the letters but they resemble more this mystery world and then you have these beautiful guppies swimming inside and out and if you see they're picking away at the wood what they're doing is they're eating the fungus on the wood this wood has been soaking in my home aquarium for over three months and it's been very prolifically producing that fungus. And then you'll notice the plants in the background. I grew all of these in at home so that we have the submerged form of these aquatic plants. Because so many times at these shows, we only see the immersed form and then they're put under the water and they don't look right. It drives me crazy. So to bring submerged form of these plants was very important to me. So that's Pagostum and Erectus back there. We have some rotala over here in the corner and over here in the corner, aquatic mosses. I think this is uh, carmine liriata. I'm, I don't know, carmine liriata, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. Here, here, throughout the tank, and it kind of gives it that nice wispy, you know, flow feeling going on. Yeah, and then there's the special effects. Let's go back above the water. We have some of these organic count, uh, components that I collected. So these came from my morning hike this last week. This is off a trail near my house that I hike every morning. I thought they'd be a perfect addition to add that foliage, that fall feeling that I was going for in this setup. And then we have magnolia pods again along my hike. So these, I, I wish I had brought more of these and then I because I wanted more of these, I added these alder cones that are botanicals that you would normally put in the water to create tannins. So I thought that was a good use. So that can be used above and below the water for decor and the health of our fish. Yeah, and then we have the special effects, right? It's a convention, it's a festival. We have to bring the special effects to bring everyone in. So the first thing we notice 
we have a sale we have the, on the windmill sale it's got to spin right without it spinning it would be without it spinning it wouldn't be as spectacular and then i added these lights up in here so everything is illuminated to illuminate all of this work that was created all of this art Light is so important in these aquariums. So to get that right makes all the difference. And then we also have the environmental lighting. So these color LEDs that are shifting back and forth, bringing the ambiance and creating a magical feeling into our magical treehouse. And then to top off the effects, we have the mister here. There's a mister that's zip tied to the outflow. So it's easily, uh, we can easily take it apart, clean it, all that good stuff. Put some moss on here in the, the uh, there's actually a spout of water that comes up. So if we didn't have this hat on here, this would all be soaked. As well as it allows us to shape the mist. If you follow the mist, and I'm interrupting it, just being above it, watch it come across now. We get this nice flowing feeling. So it feels like the water is really rushing by. Yeah, so all of these special effects brought together make it showstopper it's been amazing watching people come by and just stop and go whoa <laughs> i really enjoyed that so i know this it brought me joy and i want to bring that joy here and uh it's been a smash hit now everyone keeps asking me what i'm going to do for the next show it's amazing and jeff actually shows this whole build on his channel and where can people find you at yeah so i'm on youtube at jeff miyake m-i-o-t-k-e aquascaper at jeff miyake aquascaper awesome so and, follow him check him out and if you want to see how this got here from my house check out my channel i'll have a video up. yeah and always less talking more escaping people see you later